Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. I am just so happy to be able to share with you my new David Austin rose. How could I possibly have an English style cottage garden and not at least have one David Austin rose? I really love how this rose looks and how it changes and develops over time with the different stages you could see the bud form and then you can also notice when it becomes um, a little more looser so with your help and encouragement i went ahead and i ordered my david austin rose Hello, hello, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. It is so good to be here with you today. I hope that all is well with you. Well, I'm so excited because I was able to receive my David Austin Rose. Now, David Austin Roses are what I've wanted to add to my garden for a very very long time and I would collect their catalogs which to me looked like a beautiful magazine in which it got me ready for the new season ahead so in January February I would go to their website and I would request the catalog and then look forward to just peering through all of these beautiful English style roses and when I received the catalog I was so excited to actually share it with you my um, gardening friends and we looked through and really peered at the different roses and the different ways that we can uh, add them to our garden olivia rose austin and it is a beautiful pink rose that has like a cabbage shape to it and it is just very neat with a lot of really great um leaves i really love how this rose looks and how it changes and develops over time with the different stages you could see the bud form and then you can also notice when it becomes um, a little more looser and then it finally ends up looking more like a cabbage styled rose there very very pretty And this is how it looks as a shrub in the garden. And I was questioning whether I should put the rose directly into the ground or if I should plant it up. And I decided to put it in a pot that I have available. So that is exactly what I did. So I wanna take you through the process of planting my bare root rose into a garden pot. And then as the rose grows up, I am hoping that next year that I would find that special spot in my garden to place it. But the advantage that I have with putting the rose in the pot is that I can move it into different areas and see which location is best for it. I've got this package in and uh, this is the David Austin um, rose box breeders of exquisite english roses since 1961 
and this has always been a dream of mine to have a David Austin rose in my garden and finally this year of 2022 that I was able to actually buy it <laughs> get the courage to get it and buy it and to um, now have it in my garden so it came in this box it has a planting guide and it has a certification from uh, Texas Department of Agriculture. It came in the plastic here and the f if you're going to plant it what you have to do is put it in water. So I have it sitting here in water and at least for two to three hours you have to let it hydrate. So that is what I am doing. I'm having it sit here in water for this time and here is the tag it's English roses bred by David Austin Rose and it gives its uh, information there where to call if you have a question and the name of this road rose is Olivia Rose Austin outstanding variety flowers of an even soft pink opening to beautiful cupped rosettes set against dark green foliage fruity fragrance very healthy and size four feet six inches to three feet six inches so that is a decent size and I love the idea of it being fruity and pink and so I'm letting it sit. So this is what it looks like. That's the, the root system. It has a really good, healthy looking root system. So I'm letting it sit here. I'm not ready to put it in the ground. So I'm gonna put it in this pot. And uh, it's a really decent sized pot. Um, I'm going to put it in this pot and have it sit on the deck uh, for this year and then maybe next year or when it looks like it's outgrowing the pot I will then transplant it into the ground um, but I have to first figure out where I want to put it <laughs> so I've decided to have it close by so I can monitor it and look after it and since I have that pot available I'm thinking that it will look good here now on the bottom of the pot I'm going to put uh, this shredded uh, mulch that has a lot of micro fungi on it and you could see the micro fungi um, because it's been sitting um, for over a year or so and it's created that so I'm going to put it on the bottom so that it can hold the moisture in the bottom and then I have miracle Grow potting mix which is fairly light and I also have uh, the garden soil all-purpose for in-ground use but I'm think thinking of mixing it together more of the potting mix than the garden soil just in case I don't have enough soil and then also adding some of this uh, as a sort of light mulch on top to keep the moisture in and this is the alternative soil uh, with the cocoa um, the coconut husks um, that I got from from um, the Dollar Tree and it has worked very very well um, in seeding my seedlings here for my bottle containers so for example this in this one I used that alternative soil and it did a fine job in germinating and then in this one as well and this one so I think this one is uh, the Chasta Daisy and that's the Snapdragon in there and in this one is a perennial mix. So I believe that it will
be good on top and help to retain the moisture so that the rose bush doesn't dry out the container doesn't dry out and that's what I'm going to do I don't have um, the David Austin um, fungi that they have but I do have um, garden tone and I'm also going to put that in the soil as well and I believe that that has some of that it's not biotone but it is garden tone and I think it does have some for containers um, some of that fungi anyway the soil is going to be rich and I think it will be appropriate for my beautiful rose that I'm going to put in the pot Because I do not have any David Austin mycorrhizal fungi to get your roses off to the best start by sprinkling their mycorrhizal fungi over the roots, it stimulates root growth and resulting healthier, more plentiful roses. It has naturally been created from these uh, wood chips that were uh, that have been sitting in my garden in the back since last year um, around this time so it's been it's been formulating that micro rhizome, rhizome uh, for a while so it should be all right <laughs> I placed inside the bottom the wood chips and you can see here some of that micro rhizome fungi here that is developed on the on the wood chips and that is what helps the roots of plants to grow so it's at the bottom here plus these larger uh, chips of wood will also allow the drainage to happen at the bottom and prevent root rot. I'm going to now layer it with some of the garden soil at the bottom and mix in some of the uh, potting mix as well with it and put it in about I would say about halfway up or a third of the way up and then we are going to measure it with the plant with the bare root and then backfill with some more of the soil so that is my intention You can see that the potting soil is much more loamy, much more loose, and I think what I'm going to do is just mix them in a little bit, the two types of soil, so that it's not as um, heavy at the bottom. Uh, so it's more loamy throughout but yet it'll still have some body to it and some fluff this looks good I think the rose is going to be very happy so what I'm going to do is just kind of create a little um, well here on the sides kind of push it up like that and then sprinkle on the bottom just a light coating of this garden tone just a light amount there and now I'm going to test out the rows it's been sitting here and I want to just test out the depth
making sure that it's not too deep but yet it is not too high so when you're planting it I want to plant it in about this high up and uh, but also covering it about to here with soil about an inch over with soil and um, of course leaving the tag on it so the root joint here is going to be under the soil and that's a good thing and then we want to leave like an inch depth here so that the water doesn't splash out but then also I have room for the mulch as well so that's how that's going to work out I have it in there and it is in good depth and I just want to make sure that it's in firmly um, and that the roots are covered and then now I'm going to just backfill with some more soil here I'm going to use the potting mix because it's light and I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> it just kind of... I finished plant in my David Austin rose. Olivia Austin and she is in the pot um, I put her in a good uh, amount of depth there with the potting soil um, I also use the alternative soil the coconut and uh, the coconut shell um, husk material as well and so it's really well aerated and the loam is light and it will hold the water the drainage is good I tried it out a number of times there with the drainage as you can see it's been leaking out at the bottom so that's really good because I wanted to make sure that there was good drainage in the pot and so it is ready to go already you could see that it has some buds there Um, and we are going to be getting some more rain tonight as well as uh, the temperatures are getting warmer next week we should be in the high 60s I'm inviting you to come back and join me here at Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow 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 together so if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Have you been planting? And do you have roses? And do you like to plant a bare root roses? Or do you prefer uh, the container of roses? Or receiving your 
uh, roses in a container and then transplanting them. Have you ever tried beer root roses? Uh, so leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to Catherine's Garden and Home, this is your opportunity to subscribe and join our gardening community where we grow, 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 grow together. And you'll be able to join me here with the singing birds. Uh, you can hear them. They're singing in the garden and also uh, know that I'm in the city so we have city sounds and we have beautiful garden sounds as well so come and join me here at Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow 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 together thank you for being with me see you next time right here at Catherine's Garden and Home bye This is what the flower looks like. Now isn't that a beautiful rose? I love how it's shaped and you can see over time how it changes. And this is how it looks as a shrub in the garden. Look at that rose. and all of its petals. It's a very prominent and I love the large flowers. Looks like a happy rose. For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.